Oh God, I can't um, give her a cigarette. Thank you. I'll buy one for you. No, you ain't got to buy shit from me. And thank you. How listen, you been? You met me, remember, in the corner? You years ago. No, years ago. Together. Rick's house, remember? We're in prison Rick's together. house. Yes, wait, hold up. I got, hold up, baby. Just do me a favor. I got to get the cigarette out of my bra. Uh, shit, I can't. If anything happens to you, you no, there's no, you can't, you can't, because I'm not going to Rick's this time. I ain't got a cigarette on me, baby. I got some change for you, right, sir. Thanks. But listen, you, that night I died before I told you about. And I, I, I was a chosen one from God, but I ain't heaven sent. You know why? Because yeah, you did. If anyone fucks with you, I will kill him, and I don't have to be here to do it. Okay, I'm just telling you. Yeah, have whatever. I, I have change, sir. Where's my change? Right. Here, give it. To, give her all your change. Yes. Yeah. Take it all. Yeah. But listen, yeah. I need you. You got it, dollar. Tomorrow, I ain't got it. Tomorrow, see me. I gotta go. Oh, baby, what's up? This is my friend Lisa, right? Yeah. Please take care of her and don't let. If anything happens to her, it's your ass. And I will. You think I'm a crackhead, but. You move tomorrow. Nah. Until you come back. No, I ain't got shit. I'm in a cab, baby. This is my, this is a cab. Lisa, come here. Lisa, come here. Here, take a piece of dope. I, I gotta you. go. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Please don't take out your stuff no, while you're not, in I'm, here. Baby, um, sir, um, I'm being professional like I was yeah. earlier. Yeah. I know how to handle myself, but. Yeah, but what happened is. She was the third yeah. one that was, she was like the witness. It was me and Rick, right? I went to Rick's room. I said, Rick, I said, something's not right because I took a cab from OBT to his house and I brought this girl that I just met. That was her. I said, um, I said, Rick, I said, and then when I looked at him, the TV, I said, why is the TV gray and black? And then when I looked at him, he just, I started talking and I said, I'm a chosen one, something from heaven. I said, in due time, you'll find out. Like, I said, we're not supposed to talk about it. It was just all this shit, right? And he's like, why'd you bring her here? And tell you to, like, in the end, she was a little mean to me, but I'm right now I'm treating her with respect because she needs to be a little slutty. Like, she's probably depressed, figure, because that night, <laughs> I fucking died. But that night when I saw so gray and black, I was tough and I was gone. Shit, I gave her a hit. No, I still got Um, and then... Rick started hitting me, and I said, Rick, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty, right? He hit me so bad, and he's like, stop it. I said, no way. I sat there, I said, after I remember my back breaking, I had a busted lip, plus, and I remember just, I had a metal pipe too, and I said, I don't want to smoke, Rick, because he was a drug dealer, I said, I just, and I did lose my pipe, and I had, um, I was on the couch, and I said, we're in the future, or whatever. I was trying to tell him, but with three chosen ones, chosen ones, they were there, you know, I can't take her, we'd have to go to Central Avenue, right around the corner, that's why I'm so close to where, I, from where I live right now, that's where it happened, it's about two blocks over, there's a church behind the house, I didn't know that, but the ambulance, I remember just seeing a cop come through the door, I died, I, I know I was dead, but I was out of my body, and I, and I said, I'm not dead, I'm alive, they wouldn't hear me, they weren't, they weren't even listening to me, so then, I don't know where a cop came through the door. Sat down. I said, hey, baby. He's like, hey. And I started laughing. And then Lisa's telling him, uh, he's talking to another cop going, well, I met her on OBT. And like, I said, sir. And he wouldn't hear me. And then all I remember was being in the ambulance. I passed that. And then I'm calling Rick's name out because, like I said, I can't die without you. I love you. Blah, blah, blah. And you know, it's not from the dope because I'm actually dead talking to shit. So I'm like, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I had, I had it like that. But, but anyway, it wasn't even like that because bad situation, you get caught on you. But anyway, I was like, um, then I woke up, it was a nurse, I said, and they would close me up in a body bag. I said, what the fuck are you doing? And I couldn't breathe, so I'm going, I said, God, I said, I call God's name out. I said, no, I don't want to die, so I was never smoke crack again. And that's when, and then I called Rick's name out, and then it was a blonde-headed nurse. She goes, it's okay, it's okay, they all took me in a body bag. This is 2007. In 2006, I was seeing black shadows following me and red eyes and cats and shit. But anyway, um, and I always <laughs> told my friends, I said, in 2007, I'm going to be in heaven. I'm going to save the world.
No, I don't want to save the world because I'm only saving the world for one person. And I do love God, but here's the thing. I love Him, but what I read and what you say and never met you, how are you going to do that to Him? Okay, teach Him a lesson, but why are you going to make us all pay in the end? Abduct us. We were being abducted by aliens, but here's the thing. And they're like angels, and everyone's just afraid of them. Then they do scientific shit on them, find them. They invade their privacy and go to space. Uh, I don't like that neither, you know? So, I don't blame them, you know what I'm saying? And me, I, I know I died. My name is Louise Botugno. I'm 1980, yeah. Then a black cat out of nowhere. This is what I out before the cops saved me. There was a black cat behind me. As soon as I turned around, I said, Rick, the black cat came through me. And I just, that's when I saw the police come through the door. So it was a black cat. I was like, and that black cat.